to a new sort of segment, sort of video style. Um, I'm going to, it's just kind of like have some tea and just let's have a chat talking about things that, you know, how you're feeling, how I'm feeling. And I'm going to call the segment which is have some tea and it's actually one of my favorite phrases in Cree because it's so short but it's to the point and having tea and having a conversation with an auntie is probably one of my favorite things to do so I thought I would bring my personal joy to you guys um, I think there is something to be said about connecting with people and having the ability to sit there and enjoy a cup of tea and talk with somebody. Um, we're at a point in this quarantine situation that we can't do that right now. And one of my favorite things to do is to go visit my mom or my sister and just go have a coffee or have some tea and go sit and chat for like six hours. This isn't going to be six hours, but it is going to at least be 15 to 20 minutes of me talking about whatever I feel like. And I think it's nice. It's nice to have someone to talk to or listen to and just play in the background while you enjoy beading or, you know, any crafting or hobbies that you do. So that's, that's where we're at today. Um, so how are you feeling? How, what have you been up to in the last, you know, couple months? Have you been able to, to have Zoom meetings or anything and talk with family members because that's the big thing I really miss is talking with family members or dropping whatever to go help someone out. I have to be very picky with what I do and where I go. I'm currently seven months pregnant or eight months actually. I'll be officially eight months as of next week or this week. I think it's this week I'm eight months pregnant. So just picking up and dropping or just dropping everything, I just is not quite what I am allowed to do at this point. So really missing the engagement with family and friends. But anyway, sorry, just going on and talking. <laughs> How have you been? Um, uh, I don't know if you noticed my I can't believe it's not butter um the tea leaves that I had in that package are actually uh laboon tea it's a mint tea that we gather back home and I am running out <laughs> I'm very quickly running out of it I don't drink it that often because I don't drink tea that often I kind of limit myself to my morning routine with my husband where we have our cup of coffee on this couch and sit and enjoy each other's company before he leaves for work. So uh, that's what's been going on in my life. That first sip of tea, you know. Uh, yeah, um, I've been really busy lately. Uh, since I'm eight months pregnant, um, I've been working on getting our house ready for baby. Um, not quite fully nesting yet, but definitely um, cleaning things up and tidying things up to prepare for baby, which is fun. I did want to do a video uh, about pregnancy one of these days and that kind of information. So if you're really interested in um, our pregnancy story up till now, 
I can definitely do that. Um, I don't know. I've been, today I had to go on an adventure to go find a teapot. Apparently I didn't have one, so that was new news to me. I thought I had one this whole time, but I guess I didn't. And probably shouldn't have adventured as far as I did, but sometimes you just gotta break some rules, you know? You just gotta break the rules. You just do whatever you wanna do. That's okay, in small doses. And then I saw this cup and I was like, that's an anti cup if I ever saw one, you know? I think another thing that I would like to do if I, when I do keep this up, is have segments of like ask an auntie you know i have a lot of a lot of friends who are we're all in our 30s now which is wild for me to think about but you know i'm at that age where i was looking up to my aunts in their 30s or looking up to women that i knew in my community and talking with them and just enjoying their their company and listening to my family members like chat in the kitchen you know we're Métis so kitchen parties are definitely 100% a thing and <laughs> we didn't have them to the extent that maybe um, my grandparents or my grandparents my cookums and my Muslims did but um, we definitely did have the aunties you know hang out in the kitchen and I would be like listening, not understanding half of the stuff anybody was talking about, but you know, being able to feel like you're a part of that circle, you know, having that connection, that familial connection is really big and I love it. It's like probably one of my favorite things, you know, but I really would like to have, you know, Zoom meetings or um, set up places or have friends come here or you know whatever I can do and you know just talk with friends and family and mostly friends <laughs> but mostly family you know you know when you like create your own family yeah that's probably what we're gonna do and we I say we like it's gonna be a lot of us it's just gonna be me but yeah, I, I really miss conversation back and forth. It's been a while. Like I'll go visit my mom like once a week um, just to just to have somebody to talk to and have someone understand you know, what my current situation is and just hear what she has to say, what her thoughts, her thoughts are. It's nice. So I've been doing a lot of painting. Um, I still have a lot to go. I have the rest of the house basically to paint and I've got eight, eight or nine weeks and then I have a baby shower coming up and I feel so busy but it, it feels good to be busy it feels good to have something to look forward to especially when I if I get into my head too much I'll like worry myself into a tizzy so having something like the painting to focus on um, before our walls were all just white, just primed white. And now we have this beautiful terracotta, like peachy color. And, um, we actually got it to match our dining room, which is a burgundy. And then I chose a very soft green for our kitchen. Cause I kind of wanted to have a bouquet flowery type feel to our house and I thought those colors would be really complimentary and yeah I was right yeah I usually am though 
Yeah, I don't know. I made a whole pot of tea <sighs> that I probably shouldn't be drinking, especially at this time. But whatever, living dangerously or something along those lines. <sighs> Do you ever wonder, like, why people don't like to sit in like silence and stuff? Sometimes I think about that. There's nothing wrong with sitting in silence and enjoying yourself, your thoughts, unless your thoughts are like constantly racing, then maybe that's probably not the best. I have been so overheated lately. Like, I don't know if it's because it's no longer, like we're going through first spring right now. So everything's warming up, but I am just like, can't stand the heat. And like, I don't like, the last time I was pregnant, I, by this time, by March, like I was already, I already had my son. So I didn't have to be pregnant during any type of heat whatsoever, except for maybe part of the summer. But that was like early pregnancy, so it wasn't too bad. But like, I don't think I could have handled being pregnant in the summer if I'm already like, it's only like plus five or whatever during the day and I am dying. <laughs> it is so hot. <laughs> that anybody else is like, is that, how do like people deal with being pregnant in the summer? You know, like fully like eight months, nine months pregnant, like waddling in the heat. And like when you get pregnant, your, your temperature already rises because of like all the progesterone and then the hormones in your body, like your temperature is already up there. Like at least by like point zero one or whatever. But that's, that's, that's enough of a difference to be hella uncomfortable. Like I am, like my socks are constantly off. I'm constantly like trying to, like my long sleeve shirts, I'm already regretting. I don't, I have a bunch of long sleeve dresses. So I just like spend a bunch of my time in like, my regular, my old t like my t-shirts that I shouldn't be wearing because like my belly is like hanging out and it's probably not a good look, but I am so uncomfortable at this point in time that the heat is really, really getting to me. How, oh, I can't even imagine being pregnant in the summertime, like pregnant, you know? And like, huh, just not, not ready for that. Oh, thank God. Should be done in May. Should pop this in May. I just watched like, we just had our first prenatal class last night and, or, yeah, we just had our first prenatal class and I, it was good. I didn't get to have prenatal classes with my son. Um, uh, someone had, I was supposed to schedule with a doula, but the timing just never worked. And then before I could get into a prenatal class, I had had my son. So I was pretty much flying blind with the help of like family members to raise my son. So and it's been 12 years since I've had a newborn. So I decided that it was time to get a prenatal class. And my husband hasn't done prenatal classes either. So this is the first time for him. And whew, I have never heard anybody say cervix or vagina so much in my life. And it's reassuring. 
um, as a person with a uterus. Uh, we tend not to talk about that, the whole birthing process often enough to have cervix and vagina be regular and mucus be a regular term in your everyday life. Um, when I was trying to conceive, it was something that I was very familiar with because I was keeping track of all my bodily functions and everything. But to hear someone else just be like, so scientific and just so straightforward with it, felt good, felt good. Because it's not just me now. <laughs> like, I'm sure my husband was tired of hearing about, you know, feminine thing, like, sorry, um, uterus things for a long time. So I didn't really talk about it. So having someone else be like, just so as open as I am is so nice. It's so good. It's my favorite thing right now. <sighs> yeah. Um, and we watched a video with like a computer animation on like how everything like contracts and baby being born and the crowning and <sighs> I know what it looks like, but I guess my husband didn't know what it looked like. So when that happened, it was very really funny. Just like, oh, <sighs> yeah, pregnancy is a wild ride. It's, it's not everyone's cup of tea. I've seen a lot of people complain. I've seen a lot of people really enjoy it. I'm kind of in the middle. You know, I forgot that sleeping is kind of sort of an issue um, and uh, sleeping is a big issue. Baby brain, I forgot that even the simplest things will just escape your brain. Poof, it's gone. It's, and I was talking about this with my mom. And I was talking about how my personality has completely, well, not completely, but there is some subtle differences in my personality. And I think that's part of you and your baby absorbing each other and getting to know each other. Like, I am I mean, normally a very emotional person. I, I mean, I cry at the drop of a hat all the time. Um, but now, like, as of recently, I only cry at, you know, things that deal with real life. You know, a birth story might make me cry. Um, people I know personally, situations personally, I will cry at. But watching movies, like, watching movies was like my number one way if I needed to cry. Like, that's what I would do. I would watch movies. And now, I just have no emotion when it comes to movies. You know, I watch, I watch a, lot of, a, lot, a lot of horror and nothing. Zero. Zip. Zilch. No, I have not found a horror movie to watch while pregnant that has scared me. So I'm also like, maybe I should watch all those horror movies that scare me. You know? But no, I, my personality has changed slightly and I think that's just something that comes with, you know, children. Um, a lot of people say that their hair changes, like hormone changes, changes them. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to see that. But we don't talk about the personality. I really think that our babies kind of take over and we absorb that personality. So my baby's going to be hecka chill and only cry in real life stuff and never cry at movies. So once again, I'll be the only person in this household that has any sort of emotions when it comes to movies. When it comes to movies, I'll cry 
all the time, but not right now because his baby doesn't want to. Whatever. That's cool. Have you, it's like, if you were ever pregnant or carried a baby to term and then got to witness the personality change, like their personality, have they, has you, did your personality change when you were pregnant? Did you find that things that would normally have affected you before, before pregnancy, did it change while you were pregnant? You know, it's just something that's been rolling around in my brain. Yeah. That's what I've been thinking about. Well, this has been one more cup of coffee or caffeine that I probably shouldn't have had. And I still have a full teapot. Well, I didn't spill the teapot all the way. So, we'll see. Yeah. So, I think that's it for now. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this um, this tea drinking session. Um, if there are any topics that you actually want to talk about for next time, leave a comment below and I can just sit here and ramble about stuff. You know, just like you would hear if you were at the Nantes or you, if you were overhearing at the kitchen table like I used to. So have a wonderful day, week, month, and I will talk to you later.